Are you ready to hear the word of God? Hello mga kapatid ko kay Kristo. Good morning sa inyong lahat. Welcome back to my channel. Ate Juby is here again. And this morning, I want to share with you about on how to talk with our God. Are you ready to hear the word of God in this morning? So, let's start mga kapatid ko kay Kristo. Ngayong umaga ay i-discuss ko sa inyo uh, about how to talk with our God. How to talk with our God? Prayer is the opportunity God has given to us to talk to Him. The greatest of all beings, the all-powerful one, for whom nothing is impossible. A consistent prayer life gives us the power to overcome all things. Prayer is dynamite. Tremendous things can come into the lives of those who pray daily. Jesus made prayer habitual. He would find a place where he could be alone with the Father. We can see that in Mark 1.35. What are the importance of prayer? As believers in Christ, we should follow in the footsteps of our teacher to pray effectively. First, find the most convenient time for you. Regardless of whether it is during the night or during the day. You have to find most convenient time for you. Uh, for me, uh, my time kasi is uh, I pray uh, in the morning. I wake up early in the morning, 5.30 and then I have time to read my Bible and pray. Kasi, I, kasi pag gabi, wala akong uh, own room. So, I am together with my two wards, two children. So, I don't have time. So, maingay sila. Maingay, maingay sila. So, hindi ako makapag-pray ng maayos pagkagabi. So, I set my time in the morning. When I get up in early in the morning, uh, that is the time I uh, I give time for God to pray and to read my Bible. So, kayo... Uh, if what time is convenient for you to pray, to talk to God, and then you set your time for Him. Amen? Second, pray by yourself so that you can have intimacy with God, freely pouring out your heart without any inhibition. Matthew 6, 6. To pray by yourself, it means that uh, so that we can have our uh, we can have our uh, intimacy with God, we have to talk to Him uh, by ourselves. Let's say that uh, our heart should be uh, and mind should be our God only. Uh, what I mean is, kailangan. Siya lang ang nasa heart natin at nasa puso natin when we pray. Walang ibang disturbance sa isip natin. Uh, don't think, don't think any uh, anything that can disturb you when you are praying. Amen. Third, have a certain time and place for a daily appointment with God to develop your prayer habit. Matthew 
when we say certain time and place for daily appointment is that you should have uh, the time you set the time and and place uh, na kung saan you can have your daily appointment with our God to talk to Him your or your prayer habit you should have time every day Amen How to be effective in prayer How First start your prayer time realizing you are in the presence of God Hebrews 11:6 So, when we start our prayer time, uh, be sure that we are in the presence of God. Amen? Uh, no, uh, nothing, uh, nothing, uh, what we call this, uh, walang uh, sagabal sa isip natin, sa puso natin, when we are in our prayer time. Amen? Second, confess to God whatever sins you have committed with your words, thoughts, or actions, so that your prayers will not be hindered. We can see that in Psalm 66:18. Amen. So, kailangan pala when we when we pray, we should confess our sins sa ating pananalita sa ating pag-iisip at kung anong iniisip natin at sa ating gawa ganun yung pag-pray Amen? Next is spend time presenting your specific needs ito na yun uh, we can see this in Matthew 6.11 and also in John 1624. Uh, you you need to spend time presenting your specific needs. Kung ano na yung pangangailangan natin. Di ba una, start natin ang ating prayer time. Kailangan na sa presence tayo ni God. Pangalawa is kailangan natin i-confess ang ating mga kasalanan uh, in words, in thoughts, and in actions. Amen? And then, spend time presenting your specific needs. Ano man na yung mga pangailangan? What needs do you want? Ito na yon yung uh, specific needs na gusto mo na ibigay ng Lord sa iyo. So, when we pray, you need to ask specific specific ba? specific ang pag-ask mo kay God kung ano ang gusto mo na ibigay niya sa iyo. Amen? Next is, determine to give God the best of your time, not just what is left over. We can see that in Matthew 26, 41. Don't give our God, your leftover. Yun ang meaning is, meaning is, uh, hindi yung mamaya na lang pag may time ka, ganun. Hindi ganun. Kailangan merong katalagang time para sa kanya. Yung hindi lang yung tira ng iyong oras, kundi talagang para sa kanya yung time na yun. That is only for our beloved God. Dahil kung mahal natin ang Diyos, we have our specific time, specific place para sa Kanya. Amen? At hindi lamang tira-tira ang ibigay natin sa Kanya. Dahil ang Diyos ay hindi nagbibigay sa atin ng tira-tira lamang. Amen? Next is, before going to sleep, examine your life and ask the Lord what things have displeased Him. Just like thoughts, attitudes, words, or actions. Then, confess 
and abandon those things. We can see that in Proverbs 28.13. And lastly, end your prayer by thanking Him for victory. You need to give thanks. Yun yung end ng prayer natin is to give thanks, thanks to Him. The end of our prayer is to give thanks to Him for the victory. Amen? That's all for this morning and I hope uh, you have learned something about this video. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. And for those who are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be updated for new videos that I will be upload, uploading. Thank you. And don't forget to like and leave a comment in this video. Thank you and God bless us all. Bye-bye.